guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back my name is Jacqueline and on this channel I do budget related videos if those sort of videos interest you do please consider subscribing okay guys so in today's video we're gonna be doing my savings challenges but before we count to see how much we are cash stuffing I am gonna open up a sparkling water today I have one from Trader Joe's the winter sangria this is my last one so I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open is really good okay so here is my savings challenge binder I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see how much we are cash stuffing today for those that might be new this money here comes strictly from my rollover meaning money that I budget for other categories I don't spend I roll over to my savings challenges I will link in the cards my last weekly unstuffing that way you can see where this money came from so let's just count it 20 40 50 60 70 80 90, 105, 10, 15, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have $128. I'm going to go ahead and set this up. Okay, so my first challenge I'm going to do today is all the way in the back, only because I scratched this off last week and I want to just, um, not last week, but my last video, I, un I uh, scratched off. I can't even speak. <laughs> <laughs> I scratched off $20 here, so I want to cash stuff this envelope with $20. So now I have $20, $31, and $32. But before I um, cash stuff this, I do want to scratch off another one. And depending how much it is, is if I will cash stuff it today or it's going to be for my next savings challenge. So I'm going to go with the middle star. Okay, so I scratched off a $10 vanilla. So what the scratch off says on top here, it says, first I had to actually scratch this one off. Scratch here to see if you have a tall or small latte. Then scratch and save, add toppings. So I have a tall latte. I've put vanilla and sugar in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cash up this with $10. So now this challenge has 20, 30, 40, one and 42. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to scratch off another one just to kind of see if next cash stuffing for this, I'll cash stuff this challenge. So I'm going to do, um, I'll do the bottom left to make sure it's in frame. Okay, so I scratched off the $10. This is, I'm going to cash stuff the next time I do this challenge. The next one I want to do is my autumns. I'm gonna cash stuff this $13 today. I'm not gonna complete it um, today because I, I wanna cash stuff some other challenges. So I'm gonna cash stuff 13. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13. Now the autumns savings challenge has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 10, 15, 20, 5, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and 37. So that's 137. And the autumn's challenge is from October through December. Once this challenge is done, I'm going to uh, bring out the winter one. Okay, so let's see here. So I did the, okay, so now I'm going to do the sweet savings. Sweet Savings is here, so I'm going to scratch off one of these. Okay, so I scratched off 25, so I'm going to go ahead and cash stuff this with 25. Sweet Savings now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, and 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 258. And I believe this challenge is going to save me 500 at the end of it. Okay, so now I'm going to bring out my iPad. So, because there's a few challenges I want to do on this um, iPad here. 
Okay, I want to cash stuff Dustin's envelope. I'm actually going to erase this page because I started to cash stuff this and then I've, I messed it up because um, what I'm going to use this page for is his emergency funds. So I save money for my paychecks for his sinking fund, but the way it's been lately, I haven't really been able to save any money. So I figured this right here is going to be towards his emergency funds. So I'm just going to save $5 today, actually $10 today. So I'm going to go ahead and color in the paw right here. Okay, so that challenge is going to be... Okay, so that sinking fund is in here. It's not my savings challenge binder, but it's my low priority. And I'm actually going to put the $10 behind in the section of emergency. So I'm just going to take a $10 bill and just put it back here. I figure this is a way too for me to be able to start saving for his emergency. I can do it $100 at a time. All right, so the next challenge I'm going to do is the friends challenge, which is here. I'm going to only cash stuff this with $5 today. Each icon is equivalent to um, 10 bucks, but I'm just going to go ahead and do the blow dryer. I'm only going to do half of it. I know it's a crazy looking uh, <laughs> coloring, but that's okay. Um, this challenge here, I actually got a new envelope for it. You guys ready for this envelope? It is so adorable. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. It is right over here. Yes, look, the one with the savings challenge. I got this from Caffeine and Budgets. So adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead and cash off this with five bucks. So now the Friends Challenge has 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, and 65. Okay, so let's see how much we have left. So I have 30, 40, 1, 42, 43, 44, and 45. Okay, so I have 45. I'm going to go ahead and do roll the dice. So let me get um, my dice. Here is the roll of dice. My dice are actually in this container here. I kind of feel like I'm a little bit disorganized tonight only because it, it is kind of late and my binders are just all over the place right now because I was not here this past weekend and I brought all my things with me to record. I didn't get to record this video and a few others that I'm going to record after this one. So it's just a little bit of a, you guys can't see it, but if you saw what I was working with, you were like, girl. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move this over to the side. Actually, there's a big glare. So I'm just going to push this back here. I'm going to roll the little dice and that's how many times I'm going to roll the big dice. Let's do this again. Okay, a four. So I'm gonna roll this dice four times, the big one. So that's four. One. It's a five. One more time. Six. So I believe that was 16. So that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16. Yep, 16 bucks. Wow, okay. <laughs> 15, 16. This is gonna be, whoa, roll the dice is in here. Roll the dice now has 10, 20, 30, 45, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 
one, two, three. So that's sixty-three dollars. And this roll of the dice is going to save me six thirty at the end of it. What fell on my notebook? Okay. All right. So I'm going to do a different challenge right now. I'm going to just bring this into my uh, screen here. This is from Mystic Budgets. It's a savings challenge. It's a quarterly savings challenge. Here it is right here. And what this challenge is, let's see. So you have this card here, and you're supposed to put the time. So right now the time is? It's 8.37. Whoa, okay, 8.37. Let's see here. So it's 8.37. So you're supposed to cash stuff, all those numbers combined. So I'm going to whip out my new calculator. This is my new addition to my channel say hello to her isn't she adorable um i have my other calculator here this is the one i've always used which is this pink one i'm just going to keep this one here just in case something happens because so this is battery operated this isn't so if this one ever goes out i have this as a backup so let's just count so we have eight plus three plus seven so that's eighteen dollars wow okay i'm gonna do it because I set myself up for this. <laughs> so anytime I film, I'm gonna see what time it is, and then the time, I'm gonna actually um, put it in here. But if for some reason you can't do that, you can just cash up any of these amounts, or this can be a bonus, so like if it's a small amount, you can add any of these and just mark it off. And then whatever week that you're in that month is where you would cash up these envelopes. So we are in week three in january so i'm going to cash up this with 18 dollars and then at the end of that quarter i can keep going if i want or just you know count to see how much i have and put it somewhere or i can save it so we have 10 15 16 17 18 is going into week three all right so then if i do the savings challenge again next time if it's week four or five, I'll put it in here, and so on and so forth. And then, yeah, so this just is a way to save money. Um, and then when I'm done with this here, then I'll just erase it and start fresh. And I'm just gonna keep this the stack of envelopes in this pouch right here. Okay, so we have $11 left. Okay, so let's see what I can cash stuff. I think I can cash stuff, um, I think it's my mini savings challenge. Let's see. Do I have an 11? No, I don't. Let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna put this dollar inside of here, which is my $1 challenge. And then this 10 here, I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it in a moment. So we have 67. I don't have $67 in here. The other dollars are in another pouch. But, and I'll count this when I complete the challenge. Okay, so I'm gonna get my iPad again. I didn't fully plan this. I'm, I did plan the, be, the beginning part of this video as far as what I was gonna cash stuff. But the ending, I just kind of winged it. So I'm gonna put the remaining $10 inside of this challenge here. So. Let me get my pencil. Okay, do I have a 10? Okay, there's a 10 right here. Okay, so let's do yellow. All right, so that is that. Let me close this up because we're done with the iPad. And let's just go ahead and cash stuff. this envelope here I have a little um sign here under 10 savings challenge that way I know that it belongs in here so now this challenge has 10 20 30 5 45 55 56 57 58 59 61 2 3 4 so that's 64 dollars I believe that challenge is gonna save me 290 all right you guys so that is it for this challenge I did mention in my last weekly check-in, I mean my last cash stuffing, 
that I have a new savings challenge for this year that I'm actually going to be saving for because if you have been following me for a bit you know that I did my box challenge for 2022 which I just recently unstuffed is this challenge right here so each month I was able to save a certain amount based on whatever was on that sheet but I'm going to just kind of give this one a break maybe I'll revisit this next year so this year I'm going to do um, two savings challenges. So this is my new savings challenge binder for my cash stuffing for my paychecks. So I'm going to be doing the penny savings challenge and it's going to save me $680. And then I have the 52 week savings challenge. It's going to save me 1380 at the end. So what this challenge is, you could work this challenge at your own pace. You don't have to go in the row or the order that it has specifically the website that I got this challenge from I follow her on YouTube I will put her YouTube channel here but this is her website it's called bloom past fears so she showed it on her channel because she's gonna be doing these savings challenges as well and it's take a penny from the first day on the following day add a penny to the previous amount saved but because I'm not gonna physically take pennies and put it in a bag she created this challenge quarter per quarter so you have quarter one january through march and she has dividers and each divider has the amount that should be saved within that month so january is just six dollars february is 14 march is 26 so by the end of quarter one you should have a total of 46 dollars saved as the year goes the more money you put in it so she has suggested you don't have to go in the order that it is you do it at the pace budget of your own because everyone every circumstance is different so quarter two you start off with 46 you end with 172 and then she has a dashboard here encouraging you halfway don't stop now quarter three you start off at 172 you end with 384 and just to give you an idea of what quarter three looks like july you save 62 august you save 72 september you save 78 Let me just show you real quick what quarter uh, two was because I didn't show that. Quarter two is April $32, May $44, June $50. So these are definitely, you know, achievable amounts if you budget correctly. Or according to this, some people not, might not be able to do this. Some, you know, could. Um, okay, so quarter four, you're going to start off with 30 384 and you're gonna end with 680 so I'm gonna show you how quarter four is the most money so this is where I'm gonna start at the end of these challenges because it's the most money so as you see here in December I have to save 110 November 96 and then October 90 so that's the same concept with the 52 week it's just more money because it's saving you more money so this one is going to save me like i said 680 and then she has a dashboard here that each month that you complete you can um color it in you can put the start date and then the completion date yeah and then this is the 52 week challenge so it's the same concept you have your quarter one you start off with zero you end at 78 78 and you end at 326 quarter two quarter three you start with 326 you end with 742 and then quarter four you start with 742 and you end with 1380 so this is where i'm going to start my challenge if you watch my last cash on stuffing i said that again if you watch my last cash stuffing i did have money set aside for this binder because I hadn't received the challenges yet. But I did want to cash stuff it here with you guys since I'm already doing my savings challenges. I have a total of 130 um, here. So let's just double check with this. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25 26 27 28 29 and 30 okay so i said i wanted to do the highest ones so i think i'm going to go first i'm going to do the this is 
the penny challenge is here. So the highest for the penny challenge is going to be 110. So I'm gonna take 110 and deduct that from the 130. So that's $20, which isn't much, but that's okay. And I'm gonna take this here and I'm gonna put it right behind it. So I've completed December for my 52 week challenge. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, um, let's see. I'm gonna do this one here. Not 52 week, that was the penny challenge. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> okay, so quarter four, $20. So let's see here. So we have um, 250 minus 20. Okay, so I'm gonna just gonna put this 20 with December. Just kind of keep it consistent because these are the larger months. And I might as well just start from the back and work my way up. You know, if I find throughout the year that I'm able to save only less, then I'll, I'll go towards the beginning of the um, challenge. But the end goal is gonna be the same. And then when I get to the point where, let's say I complete, I complete one of the months, then I will color it in. I know I completed the month of December for the penny challenge at 110, but it's kind of late now. So next time I do my cash stuffing, I will have all this laid out and started and colored in. That way I can kind of just continue. So that is it, you guys. Um, each time I do my budget, I'm gonna have money set aside for these specific challenges. And I'm gonna just continue doing this. And I also have my scratch offs that I showed off in my cash stuffing as well. But I'm not gonna do that in this video today only because I don't have enough, I don't have any more cash to so cash stuff with that. But that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. And leave me a penny emoji. That way I know that you made it this far. I hope everyone has Oh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope everyone has an amazing morning, day, or night whenever you're watching this. You guys take care, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.